بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی دس از سیریز آف ویڈیوز ان وچ وی آر ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ انالیسز آف ریزاپشن ڈیٹا سو بیفور دس وی آلریڈی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ لینگ مور فرینڈلیج اینڈ ڈی آر ماڈل یو کین فائنڈ دا ویڈیوز آن مائی چینل پلے لسٹ ایٹ ریزاپشن ڈیٹا انالیسز اینڈ دا لنک از اوور ہیئر ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ thumbkin adsorption isotherm and how to fit the data in thumbkin isotherm model the assumption is the heat of absorption decreases linearly as the adsorbate attaches to the surface of the adsorbent as the adsorbate attaches to the surface of an adsorbent the heat of reaction or heat of absorption it will decrease for example this is our adsorbent and these are our adsorbate molecule whenever they form a layer on to the surface of adsorbent the heat of adsorption is basically an, an exothermic reaction so the heat will also decrease so the equation for thumbkin adsorption isotherm the linear form of this the equation is q e is equal to bt ln a plus bt ln ce bt is actually the heat uh, adsorption the delta h which is in joule per mole bt is heat of absorption delta h if the bt value is between 10 to 20 10 to 20 then 10 to 20 joule per mole then we can say that it is a phys- physical absorption or physiosorption process if it is more than 20 if the heat of absorption or bt value bt value is or delta h value is more than 20 then uh, it is called as chemi- chemosorption or chemical adsorption process okay or the that bt we can calculate from bt is equal to rt divided by b bt small b t capital bt is equal to rt divided by bt rt is universal gas constant t is the temperature at which you run your experiment and bt bt is thumbkin constant okay bt small bt is thumbkin constant in our this equation so this is a regression equation or straight line equation in which y is equal to mx this one is our mx and this is our c so our x will be equal to bt uh, sorry our x will be equal to ln ce we'll plot a a graph between ln ce and qe from which the slope will be equal to bt slope will be equal to bt while our intercept will be equal to bt ln a a is basically the equilibrium binding constant a is equilibrium binding constant or maximum binding energy okay this is maximum binding energy this shows us how much maximum binding energy can be released when an atom or molecule of the adsorbent attaches to the surface of the adsorbent when a molecule or atom it attaches or it is added to the surface of the adsorbent how much maximum energy it will release that is our a value this a show uh, shows us the maximum binding energy or this is called as maximum binding constant so let's uh, go to our data and plot these things as we will need on x axis ln ce so we have our data c not initial concentration ce equilibrium concentration so ln ce we will calculate will be equal to ln of the ce value this is our ln ce value okay this is our ln ce value Q e you know the formula Q e is equal to C not minus C e equation is C not minus C e divide multiplied by weight divided by, multiplied by volume divided by weight so we will calculate this is equal to C not initial concentration minus concentration at equilibrium multiplied by v over mass sorry 
mu over mass. Okay, so this is our Q E value. We have to fix these values. So throughout the formula, these values can be these values can be used. Okay, or R value is eight point P one four. The universal gas constant. If this constant value, the temperature will be in Kelvin. So, our temperature is in degree C. So we will add it with two seventy three point one five. Okay. Now, what we will do? We will plot Q E versus this C E. So ln C E versus Q E. We'll get a plot in origin. We'll paste these values over here. This is our, and we'll get a scattered plot. We'll get a scattered plot, and in on the analysis tab, we will go for the linear fit. Okay, we'll go for the linear fit. And get the slope and intercept value. So our intercept is our intercept and slope values are. This is our intercept value with standard deviation, and this is our slope value. As from the equation, you can see that our slope is equal to. Our slope is equal to bt. As the formula for calculating bt is equal to rt divided by small bt. So from here we can cal we can calculate the Thomson constant bt value. So to get the bt value from the slope, this will be equal to r multiplied by temperature in Kelvin. Divided by the slope or the Bt value. This formula we used this formula. Our Bt is equal to R T divided by slope or Bt value. As our Bt is equal to slope. Okay. Now we know our intercept value is minus four point zero eight eight one. So to calculate a as from the equation, you, you, you know that our intercept is equal to Bt ln A. Our intercept is equal to Bt ln A. So to calculate A, our ln A will be equal to intercept divided by Bt. And to calculate A, exponent of these values as ln will go on the other side. So exponent of the intercept over Bt. So first of all, we will calculate the intercept divided by P T. This is our intercept value divided by the slope value or B T value. So this is our intercept or slope, and A will be equal to exponent of intercept over P T value. So this is our A value. Okay, our B T value, capital B T value, is ten point zero seven. This is the heat of adsorption. As I told you, that if the heat of adsorption is between ten to twenty, then we can say that the process is physical adsorption. Physical adsorption. If we, it was more than twenty, then would have it would be the chemical adsorption. So from this Thomson isotherm model, we can conclude that our adsorption process is physical process with maximum binding energy of. Zero point six seven or zero point six six joule per mole. Okay, so now let's go to the graph and make it a more presentable graph. So we can add text. This is our pumpkin isotherm model. Okay. Pumpkin isotherm model and you can increase its size.
Okay. You can also increase the size of this. Or you can take as dotted line. Then you can also increase the size of this legion. You can select whatever legion you want. So this is our pumpkin isotherm model. You copy this and paste it over here. So you can play with this graph as you want. Hopefully now you understand how to plot the pumpkin isotherm model. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to my channel and disseminate the information to your other students and colleagues so it can get maximum reach if, if you still have some issues some problem don't hesitate to ask me over here or on my email address which is uh, given below thank you very much and allah hafiz